All right, so what we're going to do is try to use Wolfram Alpha to, um, to compute the gradient of a function. So the function that I'm going to compute the gradient of is, let's say, I'm going to compute the gradient of a function. So I'm, I'm going to write gradient of the function um, f of xy, OK? Um, f of xy equals to, uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say y over x plus y, y divided by, okay, x plus y, and um, so this is what I'm, I want to compute the gradient of. However, you see, I don't really have to write f of x, y here. I can get away with just writing y over x plus y. I just did that initially to show you that, that, um, that you, you can actually drop it. And, and that's what I did. So then I just click equals and my gradient should come up. So the gradient of the function, so the gradient of the function y over x plus y, which is what I wrote here, is using the del notation is given in this form, okay, and this of course is just this over here. And um, so that, that's how you compute the gradient of of a function using Wolfram Alpha. Of course, you have to, before you can actually do this, you have to go to Wolfram Alpha, and of course, you just have to type www uh, Wolfram Alpha, which is here, www Wolfram Alpha dot com, and that'll bring you into Wolfram Alpha. So let's let's do another example. So we want to compute the gradient. Of, of the function f of xy, let's say equals, let me choose something, let's say cosine of x plus y. Cosine of x plus y. I am computing the gradient of this, so I just wrote grad, parentheses, cosine of x plus y, and then I get this here. And um, there it is using the del operator form, this is it. So this is the gradient of cosine of x plus y is equal to the partial of this expression here in respect to x, comma, partial of the expression in respect to y. And of course, they're not using the, the vector notation that we usually use, which is the, the, uh, the uh, you know, the elbow notation they're using a different notation, but um, you have to remember to change it into an elbow notation if you're doing this for homework. Now, should you use a Wolfram Alpha to do your calculations? No, Wolfram Alpha is actually good to uh, just uh, check your calculations and make sure they're right. Okay, and uh, that's that's what you use Wolfram Alpha for. All right, so so that's so that's fine and. Uh, now you know how to use uh, Wolfram Alpha to compute the gradient of a function, a bivariate function.